What is going on guys, David Productions 119 here today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Z26 brakes. I'm going to be getting them installed in like five days. I'm very excited for that. Um, I'm going to show you guys what's in the kit. I linked it in the last video. Um, I kind of was doing a lot in the last video. I did the cluster swap and I also showed you guys the brakes. And I think I also did the interior LED type S lights. I also have the tints for my tail lights. I'm probably going to get that done more in the summer because it's kind of still cold for that. But let me flip the camera around and I'll show you guys what's exactly in the kit. Alrighty guys, I forgot to mention this last clip. Um, I did put new blend doors in my car. You guys can see these are the blend doors. I hate these things. Um, whoever designed these, I wanted to have a few choice words with you. You guys can see this one has play. This one is good. This is still good when we just threw another one in just because we were already in there. So then you put two in. Pass them to the side. These are not OEM. Um... Oh yeah, ones are like 80 bucks each. These are like 20 bucks each, 25 bucks each. So yeah. Also the sanding disc, he gave me, my friend gave me a bunch of them. You guys can see a bunch of different grips. Also gave me an adapter for a drill attachment. Um, so that I don't have a air tool like he does. This one is from the Blendor, recalibrate. I did not have to do, I got lucky. But anyways guys, cut a bunch of different grips in here, abrasive. You use this for wheel hubs to sand them off but yeah anyways guys that's that that, that was for the project at home when i was going to do the brake job but he's like do you want to just bring it in we'll just do it together uh, with the lift so we're going to do that here's the box i'm meaning to show you guys this this is a big kit as you guys see everything's included in this kit so stickers obviously don't need those uh installation guide might Look at that, and then this, power stop family, cool. So here's the boots, caliber boots. All of them is four and eight, each caliber gets two. Brand new boots, that's cool. Then let's look at the brake pads. I guess, comes with tens, lube, and then look at these beefy pads. Um, they have a lot. Brand new. My brakes have like, my front brakes at least have a, probably about like this much left. They're probably half life. But I'm just gonna throw new ones in anyways because I was I'm already gonna be placing them. So that's the front. It's cool. It has everything. Make sure I put everything back. Lube tins. That. And then this is the same thing. This is just for the rear. Same thing as the front, the tins, the tins pads, lube, right? The tins pads, lube. And then finally we got the rotors. So I um, don't know if I'm gonna open, open these yet. You guys will see what they look like when they're on the car, but the rear or the front ones are one and one and then the rear ones are both in here. It's a heavy box, you guys can see. I'm not gonna get into them. You guys will see when they're on the car. So I just wanna show you guys everything. All right, you guys, I'm at the car wash right now. Um, you guys can see the car is right there. So I'm gonna give her a little wash real quick. I'm gonna flip the camera and real quick, show you guys something really cool. Um, these wheels are hella dirty, so I'm, I'm hoping I can clean them up today. All right, so as you guys can see, the wheels are dirty as hell. This is an old one with a lot of brake dust. It shows you guys. <laughs> so also what's really cool, so let me do this. The cluster is working very well. What's really cool is that when you put it in reverse, you guys know like the old, the old cluster I had, the 11 to 14, how it show like the park sense. And as I showed you guys in the last video, um, let me just start off for you guys real quick. But when I put it in reverse, it shows that instead of the message. So that's good. So I'm very excited for that. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get to the wash. Guys, today I'm going to be cleaning my wheels today. Um, I'm using McGuire's oil and tire cleaner and a brush. I have to re-update my collection, but you guys can see, my wheels are very dirty, a lot of brake dust. Sorry about the background noise. They're all very dirty. Um, so we're going to hopefully clean these up today, especially this one's a brand new one, so they should all look like this. But I got to clean all of them. So I'll catch up with you guys in the next scene. I just want to clean these all real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna film myself, probably not. But all you really do is just spray this on, wait a minute or two, make sure you're good, and then use the brush and rub it in. 
and then after that use the pressure washer and spray it so let's get to that Alrighty, guys so here's how they look now literally like three minutes tops look at how shiny they are and then look at how dull they were it's probably harder to notice but look at how much brake dust is on the tires look at them now look at the tape the tape is clean let's look at the other side the other side was bad oh yeah that's that's not that's not it look at how dirty the tape is so i'm gonna clean all of them four of them real quick and then i'll show you guys what they look like after i just want to show you guys before and after all four wheels are done you guys can see how the tape's reflecting there's one there's two shout out to the pressure washer there's three and then there's four they look very good I didn't get all right guys real quick i got a two more blender actuators for the driver's side hopefully we only need to do the one it's the part number doorman got these on amazon i'll leave them linked down below for more power vehicles a lot of people said to go with oem which is 80 bucks each i'd rather just these are 20 bucks each so got those i also got a thing of valve stems pack of 200 i'll leave these linked down below i'll put these in my little tool chest but yeah anyways guys i'll leave these linked because these are dope they have some really cool let's see if i can get one of them the camera you can see there's a little red little red thing that kind of blocks water from getting in which is good kind of like a gasket but yeah anyways i'll leave a link to the blend doors and the valve stems 200 caps for i think like 10 bucks five eight bucks also did my brakes you guys can see the power stop things are right here i did them today with my buddy um i'll show you guys real quick what they look like but they look pretty good let's cut to that all right, guys this is what they look like power stop z26 extreme street warrior brakes they look awesome you guys can see all this brake dust from my last pair of brakes the rears are especially needed it the pads are very low but hopefully you guys like the look they look amazing if you guys can see it's just rotors rotors pads extreme calipers are fine as well but there's the pads the z26 brakes hopefully you guys enjoyed these are awesome. I'm going to leave these linked down below. Same with the valve stems, valve stem caps, and I mean, and then the blend doors, they'll all be linked down below. They did awesome. These look awesome. So break them in 45 to 10, five times, and 35 to five, five times when you drive it five minutes. And these performed awesome. So I'm going to clean these wheels probably later today. But let's cut to the next scene. I don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to cut to the next scene. Next up in the process for today's video, I'm going to be doing an oil change. Um, I have the oil here. So you guys which ones I'm using. Which oil I'm using? 5W20 Platinum High Mileage. This car takes seven quarts, so I got a full fiver and then another five, which is like I think you have four four quarts left in it. Then a filter. These filters are hard as hell to find. Find. I had to order this on Amazon. Also, when you're ordering on Amazon, make sure to check the filter, guys. This one is good. But make sure to check it. And then I have other stuff i need obviously i have like a couple paper paper towels i have some gloves i have an extension for the filter got this piece at walmart the um pepper tough filter thing and my keys are a cap for this this is my favorite um oil drain pan because it catches all the oil here and also has a drain thing there and it has a cap so you can pour this into a pour it back into there which is good i'm gonna put this cap over here so i don't lose it then obviously I need my ratchet. I forget if it's a 13 or a 15. It's one of the two. Got to open this up either way. Pretty sure it's a 15. So I'm going to grab a 15. And then I have this electric ratchet. Just for the splash shield bolts. I'm pretty sure those are either 8s or 10s. So let me have a battery for that. Guys, real quick before the end of the video, I'm trading away all these pairs. I'm trading away these LeBron Soldier 9s. I'm trading away this Lakers poster I had in my room. I'm trading away these Reese's Puffs. I don't need these anymore. Travis Scott. 
turning away these LeBrons. There's not about these green LeBrons I've had. Trading away these. You can see the Chicago's. I'm actually selling these for a hundred bucks. And then I'm trading these away. Space Jams. You guys will see what I'm doing in a little bit. Um, I kind of just really wanted to clear out my collection and kind of get some new pairs in them. Even though I don't really care too much about shoes, I just want to get some new pairs. So I got three, three pairs and then I'm going to leave this on the ground. Four pairs and then I have the jersey or the um, poster and the Reese's. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. I'll show you guys what shoes I got, then on the, then not on the video. All right, you guys, so I got all the shoes. Um, sorry about the glare. I don't know why the sun, I picked the wrong spot to do this. But first of all, I got these New Balance. I don't even know what these are called. I traded these for some LeBrons. Um, I don't know, I just really wanted to try some new shoes out, and these are size 11. You guys can see. But these look very comfy, and I need a new pair of running shoes. So we got these. Then I got, you guys see this SB box. Cool. I got these forces next. These look like the same ones I had before, but a little bit different. These are kind of cool. I'm gonna throw in some cool laces in these and pop these off, probably purple. I love purple. Um, next we got it's Adidas 4Ds. Um, these look like Ultra Boost 4Ds, I think, or something like that. These look, these are very comfy, I put them on. Next we got some Nike slides. Um, I need a new pair of slides. And then finally, second to last, we got Jordan 3 Fire Reds. The Unite Fire Reds. Um, yeah, these are dope. Got these for free, size 11. I've seen to clean these up a little bit. Not bad though, I love these shoes. I used to have these, um, but I think what happened was I sold them for like 150 or something like that. And finally, last but not least, Nike SB box. You guys can see little pros. So you guys can see on here, these are size 10, US 11 and a half, or men's 10, women's 11 and a half. But these are the Nike SB, these ones. The reason I got these was a couple reasons. Number one, puffy tongue. I wanted to try this out. Number two, um, let's see. Number two, got these because of the zoom unit. Number three, I just wanted to try out another pair of SBs and I love purple. This is a pretty cool colorway. So, and it has the laces I wanted in them too. So yeah, I got these SBs. Traded these for my Space Jams. You guys can see stitching is all good. These are Euro only release. My friend got these and I basically traded them. So I traded all these shoes and I actually made money. I sold my UNC to Chicago once. So you guys seen the last clip, but these are, I don't like these laces. Those laces are ugly. So these SBs are pretty cool. I like the colors. Um, as I said before, the new balances are pretty cool as well. I know this video is all over the place. This is a quick clip. Uh, I traded these Jordan ones. I got these basically for the SPs. I traded one for one. Should have had them add a little bit of cash on top, but it's okay. Uh, I just wanted to try to move some pairs today, and I did. Without further ado, Jordan One Brotherhoods. I really like this pair. It reminds me of my fuchsias I had, the hyper fuchsias, whatever they're called, that were like yellow and red. Similar yellow color. Um, I do really like these. These actually match this Kobe jersey, ironically, but. My friend wants these, he wanted Lakers stuff, so I found these basically on the same time that I had the SBs. So has all the stars and everything. I'm gonna clean these up, make them more presentable. But instead of doing another separate video, this is inside the video. So let me know what you guys think about this little trade wars I had with all the pairs, this pair and which of those pairs as well. Let's cut to the end of the video real quick. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. I'm gonna end it right here. It's a pretty long video. Also, peep the Camaro real quick. Also, cluster saw but peep the Camaro. Anyways, guys, it's a it's a V6. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for that. I've not really been in the sneakers lately, but I'm going to be kind of wearing these pairs because I wanted to try some stuff out. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I traded all these pairs, as, as I said before, and I sold the UNC to Chicago ones for 100 bucks. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.